Thanks for watching JeffsGoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. And today we're going to talk about the 18590 series macerator pumping the breaker. We're going to show you one quick way to figure out if it's going to be a motor issue or if it's just going to need a service kit. Thanks, Mike. Let's get at it. Normally, your macerator looks just like this. But what we did is we did a cutaway. It'll give you a bird's eye view of what's going on on the inside of that pump. All right, first things first, wear rubber gloves and also disconnect the power. On the very end of the motor, you're gonna find this little bumper. Pop that bumper off and with a flat screwdriver, give that shaft a couple turns counterclockwise. If you notice up here, what we're doing is we're rotating the shaft which spins the impeller. If, it's, if this unit's been sitting for a little while, and what it's going to do is it's going to free up that motor and free up that impeller in there. Now go ahead and reattach the rubber bumper and apply power. Now if the unit runs you're good to go. If it runs for a few seconds you might just need a service kit to replace the upper components here. If it doesn't run at all you might consider purchasing a new 18590 macerator. So we just showed you one quick tip to try to get you back up and going again. If it didn't work you have a couple of options. You can try a service kit, which has a part number of 18598-1000, that will give you all the necessary components to do a complete rebuild. You know, if you don't want to get down and dirty, you can replace the entire unit. You know, the 12 volt version has a part number of 18590-2092. If you have a 24 volt version, it's a 18590-2094. If your macerator label reads 18590-2592, it's actually the same as the retail 18590-2092, and the same applies for your 24 volt version. Thanks for watching JapsGoTech.com. I'm Jeff Lander. And I'm Mike Irving. Stay tuned for more JapsGoTech videos coming soon.